Now, abortion rights, the gender pay gap and Afro-feminism, just some of the issues to be discussed at this week's sixth Women Deliver conference being held in Kigali, Rwanda. The discussions are global in scope, but this year does focus in particular on Africa, as Clement de Roma now reports. Thousands of delegates from around the world gather in Kigali to assess uh, the uh, advancements uh, made in enhancing women's rights uh, globally with a particular emphasis on Africa. Uh, domestic uh, violence, abortion rights, Afrofeminism and uh, women in positions of power are just a few topics covered in the sixth edition of Women Deliver. This conference also stands out as the first to provide a rare platform for LGBTQI plus activists taking place in a region of Africa where homophobic laws are becoming increasingly prevalent. Women are not one thing. We are diverse. We have different colors, backgrounds, um, ethnicities, religions, and it's just been so beautiful seeing each each of the different women expressing themselves in their in their in their diversity. And not just in my country, Uganda, but also in other countries where we're having laws coming up that are making it harder for women at the margins who are socially excluded to see themselves as part of of gender equality of the gender equality uh, strategic, strategic development goals. While Rwanda does not have anti-LGBT plus laws, neighboring countries have enacted such uh, legislations. Uganda, for example, recently passed a highly supported anti-LGBT plus law, imposing uh, penalties of up to 20 years in prison for individuals accused of promoting homosexuality, and in certain cases, even the death penalty. Uh, nearby, Kenya is also attempting to pass a comparable law claiming uh, to safeguard families, a move condemned by human rights advocates.